Hi everyone, I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. I'm just hanging out with a couple of my favorite works of fine art from Graphica's 54,000 piece epic jigsaw puzzle. It's time. It's time to complete our journey as we travel around art. And we are here at Wood Solutions. This is the amazing place that is going to allow me to display my epic 54,000 piece Graphica Jigsaw Puzzle Travel Around Art. They're a joinery company. They specialize in things like custom kitchens, stairs, timber moldings just amazing so their showroom has uh, is empty at the moment and it's long and it has a beautiful wall and that's where I'm gonna put up the puzzle and I'll have tables out with other puzzles on display but I also wanted to show you the most amazing and beautiful mural that they have here look at that beautiful Tui a native New Zealand bird oh look at this mural amazing I'll do some photos and some close-ups the artist Instagram is DE O W period one and I'll put that up as well I have to go check out their other works I hope this is recording well there's so much Sun it's a beautiful fall day here in New Zealand in Dunedin and outside in front of wood solutions oh they've been amazing again I want to thank them so much for hosting me So I'm here with Andrew, the general manager of Wood Solutions, who have so nicely allowed me to use their showroom to display my epic jigsaw puzzle. Andrew, please tell us a bit about Wood Solutions. Thanks, Donna Louise. It's great to have you here and um, yeah, welcome to Wood Solutions. It's um, really exciting to sort of get a bit of an insight into your world and, and the whole world of puzzling, which <laughs> we were quite naive about, to be honest, but uh, watched a couple of your videos and really enjoyed them. You're doing some amazing content. Oh, so, thank you. Yeah, so well done. Our company is uh, originally was Naylor Lovewood Joinery, um, started in the early 1900s. Oh, wow. Um, okay. So We've been around for a little while um, and we now are known as Wood Solutions. Um, we do a lot of high-end residential work as our main market in central Otago and we're lucky and really privileged to work on some really epic uh, jobs and do some amazing stuff for some really good clients and, um, and that. So we're, yeah, most of our work is kitchens, um, interior, joinery, cabinetry, wardrobes, wine cellars, mm. bars, all of that sort of stuff, um, as well as doing exterior doors and windows and stairs. So we're sort of quite a uh, broad range of yep. things that we do. Um, amazing team that works for us, team of uh, about 27 staff oh, okay. um, in nice. total with some contractors. Um, and yeah, we... We're pretty proud of what we churn out of the factory and um, look forward to showing you around a bit. Oh. Well, why don't we go have a tour of the factory right now? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So this is our main yard um, where a lot of the product comes in. The, all of these containers you see here, there's about a hundred uh, different timbers. Um, all different exotic stuff from all around the world that oh, we wow. use and some pretty amazing um, joinery that we manufacture from it. Um, going through here now, we're just about to enter into our solid timber machining side of the oh, business. Wow! Um, so these are so huge. Look at that. So it's some recycled Oregon. We're machining for a client. Nice. Some of our machining is for our uh, for ourselves to work on. Some of the machining is for. Um, clients externally that we do moldings and skirtings, architraves, uh, those sorts of things. Um, so we have some pretty cool toys. Um, this machine here is what we call a resaw bandsaw. There's actually a blade change been happening today. Oh, so wow. you can see the size of the teeth and the size of the blade. Oh uh, um, yeah, we're not going to get close to that. <laughs> oh wow, so that goes on this device right here. It does, yep. This machine is um, basically the same as the one that we saw in, uh, in the reception area, but this one actually operates. So 
It's a machine known as a four-sider that we put a timber goes in one end and a profiled piece of timber comes out the other end, a piece of skirting, architrave, TNG flooring, whatever it might be. Um, some specialists uh, on our team operate this, quite a technical machine to operate and um, to set up and yeah we're really lucky to have an amazing team with the experience they've got to be able to churn some of the stuff out. Um, when I first started with the company about 30 something years ago, uh, we had a machine that was actually from the early 1900s, oh, came wow. from Wellington and was relocated to Dunedin um, and actually did some work I believe for the exhibition that was held at Log Logan Park, the World oh, Exhibition. So, wow, okay. Mm. So, can give you a little bit of insight as to oh um, so these here are the cutter blocks that go into the large machine that we just saw, the four sider, and they produce all these sorts of mouldings. These are all samples for our profiles. Um, we have about 1800 profiles that we can run or we can custom make them for, for customers. Goodness. Um, we have a large sander that we can put uh, sheets of material up to 1300 wide, bench tops, uh, a, lo a lot of stuff so we do a lot for ourselves as well as external um, customers, other joiners around town we do a lot of work for as well. So. Now this one is surrounded by a big cage. It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this this here is one of our high production machines. It's known as a um, as a CNC or a computer numeric controlled um, router. As we work walk around the other side of it, we'll see the operating side. Um, this predominantly produces uh, all of our or processes all of our board component, which is the area that we're in now. Um, so we have all sorts of different sheets of material from melamine, maltecas, to veneer boards, to MDF, plywood, um, all of those sorts of things the team are processing. The machine loaded with a forklift sucks the board um, and the material onto the machine. Um, this whole section actually uh, moves and and, and oscillate up and down the bed, having different cutters in it for doing things. So programmed by one of our amazing team in the office, um, known as a detailer, um, and they draw all of the kitchens and all the cabinetry, and then it comes through to production and, and comes across the router. So the team have actually shut down for the day, which makes it a little bit quieter out here for us. Um, but the, yeah, pretty cool piece of machinery um, one of the larger ones in Dunedin um, and yeah has a big throughput so the operator normally would be able to call up on screen um, and see what parts they're processing at any time. It then feeds onto an outward conveyor um, where all the parts get labelled um, for, for further processing. We are uh, edging machine that puts on all of our edging onto the components for going into assembly. Um, we are about a month away for, from our 12 month uh, or 14 month that is now uh, wait for a replacement machine. So oh. we're super excited Christmas is coming soon ah. and the new one's going to be here. So the team had just glued up today a pivot door for the, it's a hidden door for into a scullery or a pantry for one of the homes that we're working on in central Otago today. Um, has some amazing German um, hardware that is totally concealed pivot system. Oh, wow. Um, so some display um, entertainment cabinets that are being assembled um, by the team. This is so tall. How tall is that? Do you have any idea? That's, uh, that's about 2.7 metres. So, oh, wow. Um, yeah, nice. It, all of the joinery seems to just get bigger and heavier. <laughs> And um, we can go through this way and show you. Um, unfortunately, about a week ago, we had some pretty cool kitchens and um, some big entertainment shelving units and that stacked up. So you just miss seeing those. Oh. But the team are working on some exterior doors and windows. This is um, Western Red Cedar from Canada. Um, oh, nice. My home country. Home country. That's right. Oh, wow. I gotta say, 
I love the smell in here. I love the smell of wood yeah. and wood chips. It's just so nice. So yeah, one of the kitchens we're working on oh. starting to be assembled at the moment. So that um, this that, is all for one kitchen. This is all one kitchen. Yep. Oh my it's, goodness! Um, <laughs> Look at the size of that sink. Yep. <gasps> I love it. I love it. And all the joinery for are these like those soft clothes? Yeah. So this is a we use Blum, um, which is an Austrian hardware company. Um, very good quality soft clothes um, mechanism. It's yeah, it's brilliant stuff to work with. Thank you so much for allowing us to tour the workshop. I really appreciate it. So everyone, please come down to Wood Solutions, 5 Orari Street in South Dunedin, and talk to the team here as well as view the puzzle display. So why don't we go check that out right now? Let's do it. <laughs> cool. The first thing that Wendy and I did was we fully wiped down the wall and we also used alcohol swabs as per the instructions with those poster strips. Now you would have thought that this was going to be an easy task, but in fact it was not. We ended up redoing that bottom section four or five times. I, I honestly lost track in the end. <laughs> and um, basically it's difficult to print such a large jigsaw puzzle and cut them in sections and make sure that all the sections align properly. But on top of that, by taping the back of the sections, I remove their flexibility and give. Therefore, when we try to connect, especially on the second section here, the side and the top bottom, we just couldn't. It wouldn't align properly. And in fact, we gave in and we decided that we would just connect the sections top to bottom and some of them would have a little gap in between adjacent sections. Not all of them, but some. Some connected perfectly but it's what we had to do to finally get them up on the wall. And I wasn't too upset about it. I understood the difficulty of printing and cutting such a large puzzle. So remember all that lovely work Wendy and I did trying to get the second row up and we were upset that, you know, some of them we would have to have a gap, but we thought, oh, that's the worst of it. It'll be fine. And I come in this morning and it's fallen off the wall. In fact, the section that fell off um, was the section that connected really well, but I think the weight of it all. So I, I need to quickly stop recording and um, fix this, pick it up. There's some pieces that are everywhere, figure out where they go. And I think I need to do plan B or C or D at this point. I don't know, we're probably down to plan M at this point. But yeah, she fell, so wish me luck. Basically, I decided to take it all off the wall. And those beige pieces, yes, some of them popped off, so I had to continue working and doing more beige pieces. That's fine. It was a bit tricky because I was all by myself. Wendy wasn't with me this day. I decided, okay, first, we probably need a lot more poster strips per section. Although at home, two was enough to hold them up. Not enough here, and that's fine. I also decided that maybe connecting the sections to one another wasn't the best idea because if one fell, the weight of them all just brought it all down. So I got this first section up on the wall and I decided I'm purposely going to leave a gap between every section, top to bottom, side by side, because I knew that we weren't able anyways to fully connect some sections. So let's make it obvious, a little gap between them. And I even brought in a level. It actually got quite tricky to do this on my own. I almost gave up and waited for Wendy, but I managed in the end to put eight sections up on the wall by myself. And I thought, well, we'll see if they stay up on the wall. And if they do, we'll keep going with this plan. But if they fall again, well, we'll go to another plan and just display it perhaps on the floor or on tables. It wasn't too bad though. I don't mind the gaps between the sections. And to tell you the truth, using the level, they actually appear very straight and nice. So there you go. I'm taking the rest of the sections off the wall. Look, it's been two nights. We came back and it's still all up on the wall. Oh my goodness, you have no idea how happy I am right now, how relieved I am. Wendy's here with me. Say hi. Hi. 
And um, oh goodness, it stayed on the wall. So yes, I think that's a good test. Let me show you one of the backs of the panels here. We're gonna use seven adhesives on the back, wiping, cleaning them down with alcohol swabs, wiping down the walls even more, pressing on them for dear life. And yeah, it looks like they stayed. So we're just gonna keep plugging along and with Wendy's help, hopefully that'll go a lot easier. Okay, yay, I'm so excited right now, woohoo. Wendy was back with me and it stayed on the wall so we decided, okay, that's the plan. I would keep wiping down the wall using a lot more alcohol strips. She placed more of those command strips on the back of every puzzle. We used a lot more wiping the back of the puzzle as well. And we just went section by section. And you know what? It didn't take that long. They actually aligned quite nicely just because we weren't trying to connect them. So the fact that I taped the back of the sections and removed their flexibility and give didn't really cause any issues whatsoever. And the overall effect I thought looked quite nice. In fact, the prongs really make it stand out that it is a jigsaw puzzle. So I'm hoping people won't mind that it's this way and that it will continue to stay up on the wall. Oh my goodness, we're back. It's the next day. And Wendy and mine efforts have paid off. It stayed up on the wall. Look at this. And you know what? You just don't realize the magnitude of how big this is until you see it fully up on a wall. It is huge, absolutely huge and beautiful. And honestly, I still don't mind the gaps. I think it just adds an element to it and definitely makes it feel more like a jigsaw puzzle. So the plan today, is to finish putting up that top row that's missing right up there to finish it off, finish off the display, do some cleanup, and then we should soon be open for business so people can come and visit. I'm so excited, it's looking so good. I got so excited I forgot to start the recording. We've managed to get two more panels up on the wall. It looks flippin' amazing. I'm so excited. I can't contain myself. You're gonna see on camera, Wendy's here, her husband Colin, and my hubby K Kelly, who's a little bit late. I'm not sure where he's at. Let's hope he gets here soon. But yeah, enjoy seeing us put the rest of the panels up on the wall. And let's hope when we come back tomorrow that they're still there. Wish us luck. Enjoy the time lapse. You can tell I was so excited. I was so out of breath. I just forgot to start recording and I'm glad that Wendy noticed or else I probably would have made us take the sections off the wall so I could have captured the time lapse for you all. In the end, this wasn't that bad. We just needed the step stools. It actually worked out pretty good. The sections all aligned nicely, side by side, top to bottom. And in the end, the top looks very straight and level. Oh, I, it's just absolutely beautiful. So I decided here in a second, you'll see we went to record live speed. We're a bit slow going at start because I asked Wendy to hold it up so you could see the back of a section. And I was trying to talk to the camera, but I didn't have a lapel microphone at this stage. So none of what I was saying was recorded properly. This was how we did it. We both got up, Colin and me on the step stools. I connected my top corner. Wendy aligned the bottom and the other opposing corner. When we thought it was good, she'd pass me the level and then I would check how level the top would be and it was pretty bang on. We were so impressed. Once we were happy with that, they had to remove the backing strips from the other sections and then we would just press and up against the wall and just hope and pray that it would stay up there. And it looks amazing, absolutely amazing. I can't believe it. What's funny is the far section all the way down at the other side, we aligned those top to bottom. But by the time we got to this section, there's actually probably like a centimeter difference between the edges of those sections there. But we got it up and it didn't really take that long. And I was so pleased with the outcome. Just look at it. What do you think? And here's the display. As we come through the door, naturally, had to show off some of my pin to jigsaw puzzles. Just love them so much. I've tried to include little, you know, posters with information and write-ups so people can read them. A little welcome area. 
my little wooden jigsaw puzzle heart. And just a thank you to Wood Solutions again for hosting me. And then along this wall, I mean, look at this. It's amazing. Look how beautiful it is. You can probably hear my squeaky shoes on the floor. Sorry about that. It's just beautiful, isn't it? It's just so amazing to be able to see it all put up on the wall all together. And as I've explained, the sections are just separated. And I do have a little write up here that explains why. Hopefully people will enjoy seeing it. It's just humongous. No display would be complete without, yes, my prized antique world map, 5,000 piece from Ravensburg are just beautiful. Look, look how glorious it looks up on the wall. I love it. Over here, I brought in the first panel from Educa's Around the World. It is not taped or glued or anything. So I have a lot of these, please do not touch notes all around. But what I did up on the wall, just a little scavenger hunt, if you wish. Can you find, you know, Mount Denali, Alaska? And then the solutions just in that envelope. Brought in some more framed puzzles for everyone to see. And then on the table, some interactive elements. Remember this jigsaw puzzle, the one that depicts classic names of book titles? So there, people can have fun with that. And there's the solution. I decided Dobby had to be here. Dobby had to keep everybody company as they come and visit. And I thought I'd put out a little kid puzzle, something easier and simpler if kids come along with parents to have a view. Over here, I see that some people have been putting together puzzles. This is the one that I got from Peggy, the little mini puzzle. It's double-sided. It came in this tube with tweezers and someone's put it together. And then some, the vintage Wentworth jigsaw puzzle, wooden one, not too much completed on that. I found that one so tricky. Over here, there's a murder mystery jigsaw puzzle in the works. And then I just put this out today, the Crip Gradient Ravensburger puzzle. I wonder if people would like it or not. The solution's there if they want to open it, the back of the box. I just love the colors. To tell you the truth, when I come back, I might start working on it again. And over here, I have the jigsaw puzzle that we used at the New Zealand Masters game, a little write-up with the times if anybody wants to play with it. Someone started sorting the border pieces. And then I decided to use the gold crib as the guest book so people can like write on it and whatnot and leave me little notes. Hopefully they will, I think. <laughs> There's look, Paige, Sven and Pixie. Yeah, so how amazing is this? Just, I'm so appreciative to be able to see this up on the wall displayed. Just absolutely love it. I can't thank Andrew and his team enough for allowing me to use this space and interrupting them and all the work they did to help me display it. I just absolutely love it. Let's see if we can get a nice big shot of it all. It's just so huge. Ah, oh, just wonderful. Well, again, Andrew, thank you so much. And as you can see, right when you come in, the jigsaw puzzle display is all there. I really appreciate you hosting me. It means so much to be able to see my work up on the wall. So again, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Not a problem. We love having you here and uh, hope everyone comes down and has a look at your puzzles and hopefully look at some joinery at the same time. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, ciao.